Father, thank you. Pray. Thank you for your, your son's broken body on the cross. And God, as we pause right now during this prayer, we take a moment to confess our sins before you. Lord, as we receive your broken body, we receive the forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. We take and eat. Check out. The Bible says that after dinner was over, Jesus passed the cup. And a lot of this is lost on us because we don't know fully unless you've studied ancient Judaism, the impact this would have had for many in the room with Jesus when he started talking about his blood. Because if you remember the blood of the Passover lamb that was put on the doorpost, that blood represented salvation. And it was only if the blood was on the doorpost that the angel of death would pass over them. And when Jesus begins talking about us being saved through his blood, that's where they went. Just like my ancestors were saved, their children were saved when the blood was put from the Passover lamb, Jesus was saying that was the Passover lamb with a small L. I am the Passover lamb with a capital L. The one we sang about just a moment ago, the lion and the lamb. So he took the cup and he said, every time you drink of this and drink of my blood, do this in remembrance of me. So church, after I pray and we, we partake of this, remember that the blood that was shed for you purchases your forgiveness. This blood covers you in righteousness. And as the old hymn says, it makes you white as snow. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your, your son's shed blood on the cross. God, we receive the salvation that was purchased that day on the cross. Thank you for washing us clean with the blood of our Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Good job. Take Thank you. I'm going to invite the rest of the worship team to come up now and lead us in a song.